Hello friends. Now let us discuss about the thyroid inhibitors. Because in our previous class we have in our previous classes we have completed the thyroid hormone. It synthesizes its metabolic metabolism and excretion along with its uh, uh, pharmacological actions, mechanism of action and its pharmacological actions. And we have also completed the pharmacokinetics and the uses of the drug of, of thyroid if it's used as, if it's if it's used in hormone replacement therapy. So today, right now, we will discuss about the inhibitors of thyroid. Right? Thyroid inhibitors. So what are why are thyroid inhibitors useful to us and why should we read them? In pharmacology, it is better to question each and every sentence with why so that you get a good liable answer. So right now, why to use thyroid inhibitors? The only reason or the only answer why for this usage of thyroid inhibitors is like thyrotoxicosis or hyperthyroidism. In hyperthyroidism, there is increased thyroid hormone that is thyroxine which is triiodothyronine or tetraiodothyroxine. So both these if there is excess so it is important for us to cut down it or to inhibit it. So there are certain hormones which help us to inhibit or to cut down or to decrease the thyroid hormones. So among them, uh, those are called as anti-thyroid drugs or thyroid inhibitors. So let us classify them. So one are, uh, so one type are they inhibit hormone synthesis. Right, the drugs which inhibit hormone synthesis. Right, the drugs which inhibit the hormone synthesis mainly include propyl, thiouracil, methimazole. It is really important for us to learn these names. So, propyl, thiouracil, and methimazole. And also carbimazole. These are the drugs which inhibit the thyroid synthesis. And the drugs which inhibit, this is first class of drugs. The second class of drugs are the drugs which inhibit iodide trapping. That is, these are used in iodide. These, these are called as Basically, iodide, the iodide ionic inhibitors, right? What are they? They are thiocyanide, which are HCN, perchlorate, whose structural formula is ClO2, nitrates whose structural formula include NO2, right? So these inhibit iodide triping or these are ionic inhibitors. And the third class of drugs include, they inhibit hormone release. These drugs which inhibit hormone release are iodine, basically, Next, iodides of sodium, potassium, or organic iodide. And the fourth and the last class of drugs include those drugs which destroy thyroid tissue. Those include radioactive iodine there are many drugs for each and every drug which have each and every problem which have been uh, discovered in today's world but the rationale of using all these drugs uh, like uh, all these hormone inhibitors or iodide inhibitors or uh, hormone release inhibitors or destroying thyroid tissue depends upon your problem and the physician so, from our next, in forthcoming classes, 
uh, this is just an intro of thyroid inhibitors in our forthcoming classes we would deal with the drugs uh, individually in detail okay then bye